This morning in today's best time to buy furniture. Turns out July is the perfect month to refurnish your home. Consumer correspondent Janice Lieberman is here to explain why. I love these segments, by the way. I get so <laughs> excited every month. Nice to see you this nice morning. Nice to see you. Time to spruce up the house. Yes, why it not? is. Okay, because deals are in full swing for furniture, so you might want to start planning your next trip to buy that furniture. It can be just as unique as your heart desires. Custom furniture made to order. So if you're looking to spruce up your decor, now may be the time to get off the bench and hit the stores. July is a great time to buy furniture. The retailers are making room for the fall merchandise so you could get a great deal. Out with the old and in with the new. Whether your budget is $500 or $5,000, even on sale, furniture is an investment that can last a lifetime. You want to invest in classic frames and neutral tones that you can then look to dress up with accessories and smaller ticket items. If you're looking to purchase a large piece of furniture, make sure you size up your purchase. Don't forget, the scale and scope of your home is going to really matter. And here's a tip. On upholstered sofas and chairs, do the pinch test. If you can feel the frame, keep looking. In Orleans, Vermont, workers at Ethan Allen handcraft every piece of furniture with hundreds of combinations when it comes to finishes and trimmings. This is where we do our white wood cleaning and distressing, and as you can see, there's a lot of handcraft work here, a lot of uh, chiseling. And once you own that new furniture, give it some TLC. How do you care for the wood products? A damp cloth and then wipe dry afterwards. Cleaning fabric pieces? Vacuum them regularly and try spot cleaning with mild laundry detergent mixed with warm water. My kids would be great at this. So knock on wood and claim your piece of the savings because the time to sit on this decision is ticking away. Okay, so Janice, it's time for us to find out. We saw a lot of different pieces there. Is there a specific type of furniture that's the best deal in July? It's really all the furniture for your living room, your dining room. It's big pieces because okay. they got to get that stuff out and bring the new stuff in September. So those major investments. Yes. All furniture, though, is not created equal. It's not all handcrafted, as we saw. No. What about things that are more of these pressed fiberboard that you find in bookcases and some dressers? You really have to ask because some of it is pressed wood. It's particles with adhesive, which is okay. It's a lower price point, but if you think you're getting real wood, complete wood, it may not last as long, and you need to ask because these are very important questions because it is a huge investment. You get what you pay for. You showed us on the um on the upholstered furniture, you were talking about the frame, that little frame test, but it's also really important, I know, to look at the seams. Yes, look at the fabric. Make sure it's finished because if there's any fray there, it's going to just rip and come apart. And you've had furniture, I'm sure you've seen it, where the threads just come apart. That is good craftsmanship. You need to really check the seams and how it's done. And lastly, you have a little tip for making it last longer for furniture that involves shoe polish. Okay, you have kids. Yes. Well, you know, you know that that stuff gets <laughs> and nicked pets. and pets, and it just can make beautiful furniture look old fast. And I have a great tip from a designer. You take shoe polish with the foam brush, yeah. usually darker than you would even imagine, like a black polish. Rub it on the nick, blow dry it, good as new. It works in the kitchen, it works on any kind of wood, and you've saved this. yourself a refinishing charge. I love that you always bring a bargain and a fun tip. I try. Janice, so good to see you. Thank you.